in my call. Brian Rhodes visits his local drugstore to pick up a prescription for allergies. We also have another one that I can show you on the okay. other side. For Michael Demian, dispensing advice along with prescribing drugs comes with the job. But the Toronto pharmacist says he can and wants to do more. I think pharmacists are just excited for the opportunity to use more of our education uh, and uh, be able to help our patients um, besides just, you know, here's your prescription, here's how to take it. In Canada, the scope of what pharmacists can and can't do depends on where you live. In Nova Scotia, they can prescribe for minor ailments like acne and cold sores. Alberta can also authorize antibiotics. And Saskatchewan can prescribe birth control and bladder infection medication. But there are a couple other vaccines that we really should look at doing for you. For Barry Kenyon, a visit to his local pharmacy is not only convenient, it's a comfort. He's caretaker to his ailing wife, so he's grateful for any bit of help he gets here. They've kind of taken the bull by the horn, so to speak, and, and been able to, to remedy her diabetes problem. Uh, uh, they've looked after her uh, urinary tract infections uh, uh, by proper prescription. A lot of times we know our patients really well. We see a lot of our patients over and over again, uh, much more often than any other healthcare professional. So having that type of convenience, it's really timely care for the patient. But some doctors are worried, calling it a slippery slope. They say if pharmacists do more diagnosing, mistakes can happen. Doctors want to see hard evidence that the expanded role of pharmacists is working. I actually really would like to see some method of evaluating the impact of the changes of, that have already happened because I've, I've not seen that happen and I think it would be informative. What do patients want? This professor believes doctors and pharmacists can collaborate. This is in no way, shape or form stepping on a physician's toes. We want to help optimize patient outcomes and that's what we're here to do. Michael, I'm going to take this. In Toronto, Brian Rhodes agrees and feels pharmacists are underutilized. And he's pretty sure that this visit just saved him a few hours of wait time you, at a doctor's office. Hey, take care. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.